once upon a time, a 17-year-old girl from Willoughby, Ohio, ventured to the Indianapolis 500 and left with the dream of one day competing in the greatest spectacle in racing. I am living my dream. Um, it, I have a very results-oriented kind of personality, and I'm very defined about what I want to do, and it's only been four years that I defined Indy as a goal. It was a dream for a lot of years before that, but to me, dreams are kind of things that you hang out there and you think, God, wouldn't it be neat someday? A goal is something I say, I'm going to do that. And uh, and so first it was the dream, and now it was the goal, and now I'm absolutely living it, and uh, it's got to be the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. That dream required desire, persistence, and experience. Lynn St. James was willing to pay her dues and do whatever it took to make her dreams come true. The road to Indy is a difficult one. After all, Lynn did not just show up at the Speedway gates and expect to race. She earned her way to the brickyard. The road began somewhat inauspiciously in 1974 at a track in West Palm Beach, Florida, where she drove her Ford Pinto into a lake and almost drowned. Most people would have called it quits, but not Lynn. She continued the pursuit of her dream as she climbed the amateur ranks of the sport. By 1978, she was competing at the national level of amateur racing. By 1979, she was racing professionally. Her career really began to take off in 1981 with the help of sponsorship from the Ford Motor Company. She began with the Mercury Capri, but quickly drove her way into higher, faster classes of racing. In 1984, Auto Week named her Rookie of the Year in the IMSA GTO division. The following year, she won her first professional race at Elkhart Lake and then went on to win at Watkins Glen and Daytona. She has won the 24-hour race at Daytona twice and the 12-hour race at Sebring. She's competed at the 24 Hours of Le Mans and along the way set 31 national and international closed course speed records. Nothing worth striving for ever comes easy, and auto racing is no different. In auto racing, the difference between victory and disaster can be measured in milliseconds. Lynn has survived her share of on-track incidents, which include being rear-ended at 180 miles per hour at Riverside International Raceway in 1986. Amazingly, she crawled unhurt through the flames to continue her pursuit of Indy. Finally, in 1992, she returned to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, not as a spectator, but this time as a driver. Just the second woman to attempt to qualify for the world's biggest race, she not only succeeded, but excelled. Lynn finished 11th in her first 500. Lynn St. James has received the 1992 Bank One Rookie of the Year Award for 1992. In 1994, she qualified sixth, ahead of world champion drivers Mario Andretti and Nigel Mansell. Lynn St. James's accomplishments have not all taken place on the racetrack. As the leading woman competing head-to-head -head with men in a male-dominated sport, Lynn has gained recognition as one of the world's top female role models. She is committed to advancing the role of women in sports and in society through her personal involvement in many charitable, not-for-profit and professional organizations. These include the Lynn St. James Foundation, the Women's Sports Foundation, the Kettering University Board of Trustees. As an advocate for automotive safety and spokesperson for a Drive Safer America campaign, as a spokesperson for Overcoming Together, and the Car Care Council, her professional pursuits have included co-founder of Human Performance International, co-founder of the Women's Global GT Series, spokesperson and consumer advisor for Ford Motor Company, and television commentator for ABC, ESPN, and Showtime. She's even found the time to fly with the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds, and has been a guest of Presidents Reagan, Bush, and Clinton at the White House. I, I found out that racing and being an athlete and a competitor is so self-centered. You are so focused on your own being and quite frankly that gets old after a while and it doesn't seem it doesn't balance you out and so when i found out that gee maybe i could you know through my efforts and through my knowledge and through my contacts and through my expertise that i could help other young girls 
uh, or other women athletes even, you know, achieve their dreams and their goals. This was like incredibly powerful. Yes, it's a long way from Willoughby, Ohio to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But with drive, determination, and perseverance, Lynn St. James has pursued her dreams and been an inspiring role model to millions. Lynn believes a key ingredient to success is to believe in yourself and encourage others to believe in you. As the top female race car driver in the world, Lynn is not only changing the rules for women, but also redefining their roles and changing perceptions as well.